There's an interesting novel which is written in such a way that within the novel, it's about another novel. It's amazing. And this is a story in brief. There's a fellow sitting in the bar and he's trying to get a little more comfortable from the drinks. And then he hears some footsteps and he gets really anxious and he's sweating. And as that person that he hears walks into the bar, then turns around and suddenly the person disappears. And he wonders, who walked in? What happened? And it was actually the author of the novel that walked in. Now, he does not know and he does not have the reality beat without this author. His entire identity is nothing outside of the author. And it's all about the stroke of the pen of the author. And when the person realizes this, his shame is very profound. And that's what self-shame is all about. To realize that everything you perceive truly didn't matter, did not really exist, as it is in this novel. It is non-existent. It's like daydreaming. Although we think about these things and we are daydreaming, if you stop daydreaming on that moment, all of these thoughts and all of these ideas that you had vanish. The world is very similar to that. We live in such a world where everything that exists around us, to a certain extent, doesn't quite exist. It's there. It serves a purpose of guiding us and helping us go into the right direction. But it's not the destination. The destination is the attitude that you have throughout the journey, how you act, how you react, what you say, what you do, and the impact you have on other people as you're going along your path. That's what life is all about. If you want to exempt yourself from the self-shame that one day you may be facing, know who you are and know what you've got and know where you're going with this. A novel within a novel, it is your story of life. It is my story. It's our story in life within the story of the world. And we have to make that distinction, knowing exactly what we're doing. If you look at it this way, you'll see that the author is really a stroke of the pen. It's you, it's me, it's all of us. We write the story of life and we decide the direction to go. And at any given moment that we wish to change that, we can. We can change that direction. How far, ask yourself the question, is east from west? As far as it can be. Yet, with a simple turn, it can go away. Think of it like two people. Two people can be very close to one another physically, but so far apart from each other. Imagine two people facing the other side. In other words, both of their backs to each other. They're so far from each other because they're each looking in a different direction. But with a simple turn, that distance no longer exists. And they're now face to face like two beautiful doves looking at each other. Do not ever forget that because it's your choice to make your life a real novel. If you like what you've heard, please let us know by leaving a comment below. We would really appreciate it if you would be kind enough to like, share, and even subscribe. Feel free to follow us also on Facebook. Thank you for your support.